this is a cold, dark place that we're visiting here. Um, I don't see no light. I just see dark and a rusty old building. And a mountain that look like I'm about to hike. So, that man up there is... It's a man on the bike hiking already, man, and he just is taking all this. Ooh, this is not going to be an easy hike. Oh, somebody's hiking up this mountain with, they got these little, these little hooks that they throw. You know, those hooks that people hold and they just hook them into, and then they just hook the other one, and then it just helps them climb the mountain. It's like some real, some real extreme mountain climbing shit that I wouldn't participate in now, but let's roll with it. Okay, um... Yeah, yeah. okay, but the man, when he, he got to the top, he got to the top, and he looked down. When he looked, when he gets to the top of this mountain, the other side is completely different. Like, it's beautiful. It's like, like a fairy tale. It's like when you go to an amusement park, and you, you know, you just, you look at it from the top of the hill, and you look down, and it's just like, wow, this is a lovely place to be. It's a good vibe. It's a good feeling. This is, this is what I've worked so, it's a feeling of what I've worked so hard to accomplish. And, and, and you, you've conquered climbing up to the top of this mountain to overcome, to get over the rough patches, um, to make it to the beautiful side. So uh, one side of this mountain, when you start to climb up it, you can't see anything. There's no hope. There's no light. There's nothing. You just keep on moving and you keep on chucking and you just keeping at it and you just keeping the climbing. And you don't, I don't even know why you're keeping climbing at this point because you have no clue that it's going to be something great. But you're pushing and, and you're doing it and you're working and you're working and you're working hard at it and you're, you're moving and you're climbing this mountain. And you're climbing this mountain and you're doing what it takes to get to it. So when you finally get to that top of that mountain, it's... It was all worth it. It was. It was. You're so grateful that you like. You just. You, you just. It, it's tears of joy is coming. That coming out this person, this man's face, and, and he's just so amazed. He's so happy. He just. He can't believe it. He did. He had no clue. It's such a shock for him. Like, okay, let me get my thumb. <laughs> so that's for you, Taurus. That's your your meditation. That's your vision. That's your image of the week or month. Because a lot of the energy. I don't know if it's because it's Halloween, but a lot of this energy has been spreading out, making me feel like it's going to be more than just this week. Okay, just a second. It's going to be more than just this week, I'm feeling. I also feel like this is going to be the last one for today. And, like, my stomach, it feels a little nauseous. Is somebody pregnant? Ugh. Like, now I want my chips. Like, I just instantly just want my hot chips. Like, I want to stop eating the video eating the video i want to stop doing this video right now and i just want to go get my bag of chips right there my hot doritos because i just love those but my stomach feels nauseous and somebody could be pregnant somebody could be ugh, nervous nervous like ner very nervous like butterfly nervous like very i could shit on myself nervous i'm sorry but this how nervous like somebody's nervous about something but anyway i feel like you've conquered something okay i feel like um for so long while you've been climbing up this mountain and trying to conquer whatever this mountain, this hill is, it's overcome this battle. I feel like for so long, you've just been keeping at it and keeping at it and moving and just keeping your pace and moving along the trail. And I feel like for so long, you didn't see the end. You didn't know what was going to come. Why even you should buy, you should even continue to climb this mountain. But I feel like once you got to the top and once you finally took that last climb, that last little step that got you to the top and you were able to see over to what you have overcome and look back i mean to see what you where you're heading and look back to what you have overcame i feel like that's when it all became worth the while for you i feel like that's when it all makes sense that's when it all um begin to fall into place and i feel like you you were over you're you're going to be overfilled with joy and i feel like you're going to be happy and i feel like it over for this for so long nothing good may have happened and no light may have been shown before this like but and you've been climbing this mountain and you possibly been doing it in, in in silence by yourself because i didn't see nobody out there climbing the mountain with you um but it, for so long it's probably been weighing so heavy on you like the size of a mountain or like climbing up a mountain and you possibly have not been having anybody to release this to or talk to or just express yourself to and i feel like you just kept climbing you maybe kept your head down and just kept climbing and i feel like now it's worth it it's worth it you're glad that you kept climbing you're glad that you didn't give up you're glad because now even though you didn't think it think so 
it is all worth it the, the climb of that terrible mountain uh, because it's something also that you have overcome something big something major that you were over overcoming it represents something huge in your life that you were overcoming and it was big like the size of a mountain and, and, there, and there was not there i'm hearing ain't no mountain high enough it was no mountain high enough or no valley low enough to keep you from getting to where you're going okay and i just feel like this is good this is good i just feel like so far i've been getting kind of good stuff like feel really good like it might not feel good to you guys but it's ultimately happening for good reasons to to put you in a good positions to line you up and i feel like for all the reasons so far that i had i've only done capricorn aquarius pisces aries now i'm doing tours so this will be the fifth reading that i've done um this weekend because we don't i'm doing halloween weekend so i'm getting those done because i feel like the energy is very good and peaked right now and it is it is it has been giving good good energy okay but Anyway, nonetheless, I feel like you are conquering something. Something is being conquered for you this week, this month, Taurus. And, and, and it's, it's huge. It's huge. So what messages, let's jump right in. What messages do we have for Taurus, please? Messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus. See what we have for you, Taurus. How much of this do we have for Taurus, please? We got the first card out. Hold just a second. The first card out is um the hangman. Okay, and I feel like this is a place that you could have felt like climbing that mountain. You could have been took you took you a long time, and so so many times you felt stuck, like you just wanted to give up. And look at that. The funny thing is, just look at this hermit. He is chucking up a mountain. If you really look close at that car, he is. He got his stick, and he is on his way with his bag of everything, and he's he's that he got that he came with, and where he's going, and what he's taking with him, his experience, his knowledge, and his light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like this is him. He's climbing up the mountain. And he don't look too happy about it, but he's still going. And I feel like this you for so long you've been stuck. Stuck in some stuck some so some something that you did yeah, something's getting cut out or leaving the cold. Okay, but I just something had you stuck for so long, possibly um the dark side of this mountain. Okay, had you stuck not seeing the light for so long, but I feel like look at that five of pentacles, it's like it's all white, it's snow. Okay, why is it looking blue? Look when I go up close it's blue. Does that look weird? So this is the other, this is the side of the mountain that you're coming to. This is the side of the mountain you started from. And there's the mountain right here when you get over it. Isn't that cool? Mountain dark when you overcome. It's all light. And I feel like this is, this is you on the dark side of the mountain. And this is what it looks like when you've overcame. And you get to the other side and you're able to finally see. And and then and, and that's the five of pentacles, so you're not seeing um that. But I'm just feeling like that this is this is representative of the, the light that you are going to see when you have overcome the five of pentacles. When you've overcome feeling left out in the cold, when you've overcome feeling like that there is gonna be no light at the end of the tunnel. And that I took that from the bottom of the deck, but I feel like it should be out here. And I don't do that, so I'm sorry. Um If it's supposed to be it might be my opinion if it come out, but I just feel like yes. That's what the tongue is going to look like when you come out on the other side, on the mountain, when you overcame it. Five of, four of pentacles, okay? Okay. For some of you, this mountain, this mountain could be uh, in the form of restricting yourself, Okay. Yeah, I feel like it'll be a good the form of restricting yourself uh, from something or holding back. Okay, this mountain, the dark side of this mountain could represent some somebody holding back something, um, like um, about themselves. Like, um, say you got a purpose that you need to be pursuing, but you're holding yourself back because you're not too sure how it's gonna work out for you. Um, that could be the mountain. The mountain could that could be your mountain that you're climbing, that you're overcoming, overcoming, holding yourself back from. What is you know you're supposed to be doing because you're too worried about what somebody else might think. Um, heading to some ten of pentacles and maybe it's a relationship for you. Holding your back, self back from some commitment that you know is good from you for you. And that's going to be a mountain that you're overcoming. You know where the story fits for you. Just place yourself there if it resonates. 
Okay, what else we got for Taurus, please? Queen of Cups, the Emperor, and the Nine of Wands, with the Ace of Wands on the bottom. There's that, that brand new, fresh breath of air once you get to the top of that mountain and, and you've overcome it and you've conquered. It's all worth it. But I feel like for a long time, you might have been stuck. That's why I said for a lot of you, you could have been just stuck trying to overcome trying to overcome the dark side of the mountain where, you you know, life is about light and dark. Where you, you let your low vibrations or your shadow side control your gift or control what you have to put out here into this universe because you're too wary or too scared what people might think or what they might say. Or maybe the person I love might, like it, might not like it. Or maybe people might not like who I have to bring home, who I want to nurture, who I want to invest my time in. Um... But you know what? Fuck it. I'm not thinking about that. I've, I've thought about it. i thought about it over and I want to work on this. I want to put the work into this and I want to do this. I want to follow my intuition and I want to do what I love and I want to do what I'm passionate about. I want to take charge and I don't want to care what nobody thinks. I've been through enough and it's my turn now. And it's my time to burst through this mountain, to burst onto the other side, to start this passionate new beginning. Okay? So something good is going to happen here. I can feel it. Hey, man. Why is that here for tourists? Why is the hangman here for Taurus? Hangman, why is it here for Taurus? Why is this hangman here? Okay. Oh, shoot. I threw those off the bottom of the deck. I got to get those three back up. So we have the Five of Pentacles, which came out because I guess it was supposed to have been out. And I just feel like for a long time, that's what you were stuck in with the hangman. You were stuck in feeling like lack, like you were unable to accomplish or not, unable to con conquer this mountain, unable to uh, rise above, unable. But I feel like you're moving on up because you're moving from the Five of Pentacles to the Sixth. I mean, you're moving out of lack. You're moving to reciprocity. You're moving to a realization that you can do this, that you can take charge, that you can be brave, that you can conquer this mountain, that you can overcome. Okay? And I feel like that's you. So you there you are, steady chucking, steady going, getting up that mountain, overcoming that mountain, overcoming that mountain of holding yourself back from possibly a commitment or over holding yourself back to something that could be um, financially rewarding in the long run. Why is the hermit here? Four tourists, please. Yeah, I feel like the strength card is in reverse. It's because it fell on my lap in reverse. But I feel like it's part of the story. Okay, and I feel like... Mm, I'm sorry, yeah, my lips be getting dry as heck. I'll be like, I don't like it. Oh, no, not that. That's too much. It's not supposed to, this video ain't supposed to be about all this. My lip ring. When it's dry, I feel like it be cutting up my lip a little bit. Anyway, so back at it. Yeah, I feel like this is you. Like you let no. I feel like the strength card is in reverse here, but not because you're not strong or not because you're not strengthening it, but because you're letting go of the resistance. How strong you're resisting? How much you are holding on to? I can't do this. I gotta hold myself back. You're resisting. I mean, you're releasing the the fact, the urge to be so strong and resist to hold yourself back from. Whatever it is that you know you're supposed to be doing with the star card, whatever this healing is or that you're supposed to be contributing or this um, star, whatever this is that you're supposed to be contributing because this is illumination, this is a wish, this is, you know what you're supposed to be doing. I feel like you're illuminating and it's something that contributes to the future or helping 
the future. But you're holding yourself back, and it could be in love. But it's, a, it's just a perception between it, between you and the truth. It's a truth or some clarity, a perception, and a new beginning. That's how that happens here. Why is this Four of Pentacles here? For Taurus, please. Maybe this is a perception that you had not wanted to see. Maybe it's a way of being that you did not want to end. But you're definitely... Um, um, it's ending. Okay, you're putting down the burdens, the heaviness of holding yourself back. Or even holding yourself back to begin with. You're going to let yourself go out here and branch off. Okay, and you might not be... You know, the most sure about it with this two of swords, you might feel a little conflict, especially within, but I feel like intuitively, you're not conflicted at all. You know exactly what you want to do and what you're going to do. And I feel like you're going to be putting in a lot of work and working really hard to overcome, to conquer, to stop, to, to put an end to holding yourself back, to deceiving yourself, because just all you need is the new perception and your intuition is presenting it. So, let's see what this Ten of Pentacles is. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here for Taurus? the cups on the bottom again with the perception and the clarity this is it's i feel like it's just some clarity between you and your new perception in this new beginning all between all the thing you got between you and your new beginning is um some clarity in the perception and i feel like if you already have the clarity then you're needing to shift the perception and you're just having a hard time doing it okay but a decision needs that has been made okay about a ten of some ten of pentacles okay princess of pentacles i see the potential to see the potential and a decision to see the potential and what could be uh prosperous okay to see the potential to move from the eight of pentacles to the ten of pentacles um because you decided to not hold yourself back and yes it might be scary sometimes it might bring anxiety a little bit but it's also going to bring fruition it's also nurturing it's also part of what you do okay why is this point of pentacles here for taurus please For some of you, I feel like this is love. Got love written all over it. But for some other you, I feel like this is about finances and careers. And I feel like this could be like your, your gift. Some of you dealing with a gift that y'all afraid of what other people might think or what they might say or how your family might act. How your mother specifically might act. Okay, so she's she's so you're retreating from making your decision. Um, yeah. You're retreating from making your decision based upon what people might say. So, but I feel like you're about to, that's coming to a close, but that's overall why you've been holding yourself back. And I feel like you're going to be nurturing that. You're going to be healing that and, and, and pushing forward to make a decision, okay? To retreat from anything that keeps you from this passion in the beginning. Mama just going to have to understand, hell. Yeah. But I feel like you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. You thought about it several times. And you just got to do what you got to do. Here, right here, this is you pouring out the, the, the fucks you give about what other people think. See, in that cup was the fucks you gave about what people think and their opinions. And you're pouring it out. I'm sorry. It's got to go. I got to do what I got to do. You got to do what you got to do. Because just holding back can't be one of them. Why is the Seven of Pentacles? Here for Taurus, please. Yeah, because you got to bring the beginning ahead of you. And your truth is transcending illusion. You can't worry about what other people think. Yep. That brand new good fortunate a new 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 chance, okay? So for the with the universe coming to help you balance balance it out. And this is divine time of being here at play. It's time. The time is now. And it might happen quickly. And some communication might go out where you're saying, Look, I do this and I just sorry, I don't care. And this is what I'm gonna be doing and I'm not gonna give a fuck what you gotta say or Whatever you got to say, or you're going to be communicating something about love. Like, okay, let me start it over. Whatever we need to do, I love you. Whatever, let's take charge. Or whatever you're saying to this person about a new beginning. But there's definitely a new beginning on the horizon, whether it be in love or finances. There's definitely a new beginning here coming, and I feel like it's coming fast. And I feel like it's going to be good, and it's going to be fortunate. And I feel like it's going to be a new... I feel like this time around, I'm hearing this time around, it's going to be um, official. It's going to be legit. It's going to be... Um, self-owned is what i'm hearing it's going to be you standing in your power being true to self is what i'm feeling you taking charge okay and not giving a damn what anybody got to say 
You might lose some people along the way, but you're getting whatever. You got to do what you got to do. What's your purpose here? So, yep. That's why I said some people might be looking like, ah, whatever. Queen of Cups. Why is this Queen of Cups here for Taurus? Yep. And that's you, all right. Making sure, take, making a decision. Deciding to make a decision to follow your heart, Okay. To do taking charge, do what your purpose is to follow your heart, your destiny, and that's what you're choosing. And I feel like you could be nurturing something as well, okay? But or you could be just worried, not worried about what mama say because you got to choose you and what you got to do. Can't worry about what grandma saying, what how they used to live and how whatever all that shit that people be getting up in, okay? Why is the emperor here? I feel like it's a major taking charge, and some people might not be happy about it, but you are doing what you have to do. You are not worried about what people might be and might not be happy about. You can't worry about that shit. It might be causing a tire for some people, but you don't give a damn because you're standing in your truth. You are doing what makes you happy, what intuitively you are following your God with. You know you prepared for and studied and climbed this mountain for all this time. You didn't climb this mountain just to sit back and get worried and bothered because of what the next motherfucker got to think. No, you climbed this mountain because it was to overcome anything, any obstacles that keep you holding yourself back and putting a lid on yourself and, and, and everything that you're capable of and everything that you're, you got to offer out here. Some happiness and, and everything and then you're happy headed to the sun place, to the sun card. And I feel like you did not put in all this work with this eight of pentacles just to put a lid on yourself just to give a fuck about what somebody thinks when you get to the top of this mountain i just don't feel like you did all this work to do that so no no you worked you worked hard you, you've climbed this mountain and you it was not easy for you but you were going and that you were standing your ground and you were not giving a damn okay why is this nine of wands here for Taurus? Yeah, now for some of you, I feel like this is a marriage or something that you build and stable. You're not caring about what the next person got to say about because the King of Pentacles that came out now with the Queen of Pentacles and the end of something, something ending so you can have a new beginning. And I feel like it's this just it's something's ending. Which people, it's, I feel like this has got the energy of people with they they thoughts and their opinions written all over with people thinking about you and how you live in your life. Fuck them people. And I feel like this month, you're going to just be deciding, look, I'm the king of pentacles. That's who I want to be. I want to marry this queen of pentacles. Oh, do, do I give a fuck what you think? No. Your opinion means what? Nothing to me. I'm not listening to that shit. I'm a skeleton when you talk. So, in, in a matter of fact, yes, you're talking all that shit, but I'm still got my, my, my sword of truth here. Me, that's me putting the end to giving a fuck what y'all think with my truth, my sword of truth. And I'm moving on to this new beginning, some stable that I can build. I'm not worried about y'all. I'm building my own future. I'm building upon my own future. No, I'm not worried about what the fuck y'all think no more. I'm not worried about that it looks crazy to you, that it sounds crazy, that you think I'm a nutbag. Or I'm not worried about the fact that you don't think I should marry this type of person or you don't like them. Or I don't give a fuck, mama. Sorry, but that's, that's the, I feel like that was you speaking, some of y'all. I don't give a damn, granny. You know, you can't talk to her like that, but this is what you're not, you might not be saying it like that, but you're telling, letting people know, look, I'm standing on what I want to do. And it's either you're going to take it or you're going to leave it. And you know how that works. You are, you, this is the person standing up and fighting, even though they've been through a lot, they, they're going to shut up and take it. You know why? Because they can realize like, well, dang, this person, they really want to be with this motherfucking hand. Nah, well, I guess y'all know how they get. They better shut up or we get cut off. And that's what people do. They shut the fuck up or they just cut themselves off because they that damn bitter that you're going to go against what they want to say. Well, you bitter and that's your problem because if you that bitter that you want me to live my life according to how you want me to live it instead of me living it for me and being happy then that's a fucking problem and you need to cut yourself off from me i don't care who you are mama granny daddy maybe whoever shit i'm just saying motherfucker love you they want you to live your life being happy regardless of what it is it's like you you finding out the child your child is gay and you just tell them oh get the fuck out i don't want to love you anymore that's some bullshit you don't love your kid anyway. Hell no, you probably didn't want them to make that decision. Even if you'd made decisions. You know, I mean, you don't want them to make that kind of decision. If that's, you don't just cut the love source off. Some motherfucking parents do that, but you better be. That's not unconditional love right there. That love ain't unconditional. That love got limits. Because I'm not doing what you want me to do. You're going to cut your love off. Well, fuck you then. That love is the love. Of, that was the kind of love I didn't really need anyway. Sometimes you gotta separate. Sometimes you gotta love people from a funky distance. You sad, but you gotta do what makes you happy. 
with your follow your path. What's what's this? What's designed for you? What's destined for you? What you came here to do? You can't hear about people's opinions. If you do that, you may never make it to your path to your destiny, which would make you happy. Uh -uh. So I did. We don't do that. Not do over here. No, no. So I call you. Bye, bye, Granny. Bye, bye, Mommy. Bye, bye everybody. Mm -hmm. If you ask me, I don't. I don't ball, no. I don't give a damn if we blood or we water. If we fire, we earth. Bye. Bye, bye. Spiritually, I just I do not play. I don't care. But I'll just cut you off in the most respectful way. I'm disrespectful until you shut up. And I, but I will cut you off. I don't care who you are. I can be whoever. Mother, grandmother, brother, sister, everybody got the truth. I'm gonna cut them off, but <laughs> don't play with me. I'm serious out here. I'm serious when I get in the queen of swords. And I feel like that's gonna be you this month. And your queen of swords, king of swords, to let them off stand on your ground, standing up for what you believe and fighting for just that. Because people are gonna back off. People are about to back off big time. That's your heart. Or your desire, something's yearning, and you got you. You can't worry about it for no longer. It's been eating at you. You've been worried about what people think for quite too long now, and you just can't afford to do that no more because it's been holding you back. It's been holding you back from poss possibly some, something. I know it's something great, is what it's been holding you back from. It's got to be something great. Yep, and it's been holding you back from being open to infinite possibilities. That's why it's out here in the reverse. And now I feel like that's over. That's it. It's coming to an end. That's coming to an end. You know, that's coming to an end. That's coming to an end. You know why? Because you, you see the big picture now. You see the big picture. You see the big picture. You can see the big picture. Okay, and you, because you see the big picture, you're able to think on your feet. You're able to act as if. Okay, and the most importantly, you're able to tend to the small things, the things of where you have to work on and they might seem small but they're really sometimes they're big but this small detail of not giving a fuck is maybe very small but it plays a huge role in the bigger picture you see what i'm saying so you're going back and you're tending to the small details okay well what can i do better what can i do what's going to try to keep me held back why am i holding myself back to begin with okay well and you're going back and you're addressing shit small shit to make sure that nothing goes wrong and nothing you're tuning it with a you in it magnifying glass you got tunnel vision i mean i feel like you are you this is you are on it Okay, you're acting as if, and then you, you are not letting anything in your way. You're thinking quick on your feet and holding your ground because you see the bigger picture. And because you do see the bigger picture, you are going to not be open to infinite possibilities, and you're not going to let anybody keep you from being open to infinite possibilities of what could happen, what you could be. So that's why you are tending to these small things because small things matter. And over time, you didn't put all this work in the climb up this mat this mountain to let one small error happen. Okay, so you're going over it. The small details, the small print with your magnifying glass and you're checking it. Combing through it with a fine tooth comb, you're getting your ducks in a row and I feel like you're preparing yourself for a great time uh, probably a time that you've never even been to before because you possibly always gave a fuck about what people think or you possibly always allowed yourself to be held back or whatever this mountain is for you that you're climbing it's always been in the way it's always been an obstacle that you need to overcome but not anymore because you are tending to the small details the small details make up the bigger picture and if you make tweak all the small details then the bigger picture makes sense and i feel like for you that is happening to week tours or this month i feel like things are moving um, I feel like you're standing your ground, you're standing up to people, you are owning who you are, and you're not allowing anybody to take that from you, not even with opinions, not even with their thoughts, like you just, and it might come off harsh to some people, but you're just tired, you're fed up, you've made it to the top of this mountain, and you didn't come this far to let anybody bring you down, to let anybody mess this up for you, to let anybody's opinion, to let your fucks you give be the reason for your downfall, you see what I'm saying? So, with that being said, hope this resonated with somebody hope this helped you out if it helped you out give me a thumbs up if it resonated like the video if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to the channel because i would love to have you as a subscriber um share the video on your social media with your friends with your family with whoever you might need think might need to hear it some tourists that you might be dating or you the cross watcher you might need to hear it for yourself so go ahead and listen okay now but anyway i love you guys and i'll see you soon so with that being said this is what i got for you namaste bye